Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to extract all financials from Finviz, how to plot the trends from the financial tables, and we're also gonna to convert the balance sheet into percentages. So this is an example of what it should return. Within the R markdown, you're gonna be able to set the stock symbol that you wanna get data for. As an example, we're gonna be using CMG. And for each of the three statements that it returns, you'll be able to plot trends. From the income statement, we're able to grab the total revenue, and each bar represents a different quarter. So we get the actual value. And since I'm using quarterly data, we can plot the trends. So this is the year over year change versus the quarter over quarter change. We we're able to grab the net income from the cash flow statement. Same thing here. And then from the balance sheet, we have total liabilities. And finally, convert the balance sheet into percentages. The way the percentages are calculated is we're gonna split up the balance sheet into three sections, one for the assets, the other for the liabilities, and finally the stockholders equity. And for each section, we're gonna divide each of the values over the total assets, liabilities, or stockholders equity. So as an example, the first row for cash, this represents 15% of the total assets, which should be always 100%. So it'll return the percentages for each of those sections and also add the additional info or ratios after the total equity. We don't make any calculations for anything after total equity. That's how the data is returned from Finviz, which I believe uses E-Trade for the data. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual script. So to create the report, we're gonna be using this R markdown, which sources all of our functions in this R script, which we will go over shortly. And here's where you're gonna be assigning your stock symbol. Since we're using year over year changes for the trends, I recommend you setting this to Q but you can always change this to A for annual, but just note that the year over year changes on the trends are gonna be returning the percentages from four periods ago. Now from the previous tutorial, I showed you how to scrape these values from the site. And after reworking the function, we're able to use it to get all three financial statements. So we'll take a look at each of these. So we have the income statement, we have the cash flow statement and the balance sheet. Here on after, you can use this data to calculate ratios or even export it into Excel. Now to create the plots, depending on which statement you're looking at, you can just grab any of the row names and paste them into the R markdown. So I've set three examples, one for the income statement, where we pass in the symbol for each of these, what we want to grab and from what table. And then finally, we have our percentages function where we just pass in the balance sheet and return the table. Let's take a look at this R script. So we are going to be requiring each of these packages. We're going to set our 1000 separator for the plots. Now, the very first function we have will fetch the data from Finviz. So please take a look at my other tutorial on how to grab your headers. And the function should be identical. The only thing that really changed was the URL here. I formatted the URL to fetch the three statements. So the AQ is either annual or quarterly. And FS is the financial statement you want to grab. So we're going to use I for income statement, B for balance sheet, and C for the cash flow statement. So it'll construct the URL pass in our headers, we're gonna submit a get request, extract the contents, format the data, and return it as a data frame. Once we have our financials, we can use high charts to plot any of the values. So we're gonna pass in the ticker symbol, what we wanna plot and from where. We're gonna locate our row by using the row names. We're gonna reverse the data so we get oldest to newest. We're gonna add the quarterly and yearly changes. So just make sure you change this value if you're using annual data, since it's comparing the current period to four periods ago. Finally, pass in the formatted data to create the plot. And then our last function is gonna to convert to the balance sheet into percentages. Since each of the stocks have different lengths, we're gonna start off by locating where total assets, liabilities, and equity lie within the balance sheet. So it's gonna extract the row number, and we're gonna use that location to divide the rows depending on which of these sections they fall into by these totals. So it's gonna do that for the assets, liabilities, and the stockholders' equity. We also wanna keep the additional data that's returned from Finviz. So we're gonna extract those rows, and we're gonna be merging all the values together. So you can use this function to create something similar for the income statement if you wish to do so. Well guys, with that, this concludes the video. I hope this was useful information. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find this script. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.